Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel and today's live! Hi guys, I'm behind the camera. Yes. We're going old school today. It's just me and Lauren, so you're not gonna get to see Lauren today, but you will hear her. She's gonna chime in and it's gonna be awesome. So happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing so good today. I was feeling a little sick earlier, but I took some Sudafed and now I am super hype. So. Super duper high. Super high. Lauren said, does this make you sleepy or uh, what did you say? Sleepy, sleepy or, or hyper. hyper? Hyper. Yeah. Very hyper. I probably won't be able to sleep or eat the rest of the day, but that's okay. Well, I know it's some people it, it, it works with some people different ways. So like some yeah. people it does make them sleepy. I don't know. Right. It's always like super hyped me up. Yeah. Um, but it worked like instantly. I was sniffling and stuff. It was not even like <laughs> three minutes. Courtney yeah. was like, I think it's already working. And it did, so I feel great now. All right, people. Do you wanna see what we're making today? Yes. Can show them on the overhead? So this project, go ahead, we're overhead. Okay. This project is probably one of my favorite it projects. It is my favorite Christmas, Christmas project, project that we've, we've done, done this year so yeah. far. Yeah. And it's simple, but it when you look at this, you don't instantly go, I know how to make that, you know? You have Which to I think, think about it. At, well, at least as like a cricketer that's been doing this for a long time, I see cricket projects and I'm like, I know how to make that. Like, I don't even need a tutorial most of the time. I can just see something or see something at a store and be like, I know how to recreate that. Uh -huh. And this one is not one of them for me. I think because I'm like, I don't know how to knit. Right. And this is knitted. It so, is knitted. Like, what? But we And how are you gonna use your cricket to make that? That's right. I cannot wait to share this with you today. So let us know what you think um, of what? this project. And if you, if like, just by looking at it, if this is something that you might wanna recreate. Now, while we are looking at this, yes. um, can this you see is, it okay down here? Yeah, I mean it's got some shadows, but like it's fine. Okay. So this project is one that, like Courtney said, it's not one that you can automatically. It's not one that you're like, oh, I know how to make that. So that is one of the key things that I think makes a craft sellable. Yes. Is if you th if you look at something mm -hmm. and you're like, as a maker, you're like. I don't know how to recreate that. Like it, it right. it's gonna take some time. Yeah, even other makers would buy this from you because exactly. they don't know how to make it. Can yeah, she it wants to camera? raise it toward the camera. Can, is that good? I can't see what you can yeah, see. Yeah, like you okay. can you can see the knitted thing. Yeah. So if you are a maker that wants to jump in on the selling world, yes. for chance by chance, um, Tanner is going to be hosting a webinar here and then actually is next, it next week, week it starts on sunday oh my gosh this oh my, sunday oh my gosh it is this sunday isn't it yeah that's in like a few days three days right yeah you um, definitely need to hop on that link and get signed up uh -huh. because he's going to teach you how to sell stuff like this yes even in a shrinking economy which i know like right. i feel like that's a buzzword right now um that is something that we're all worried about. So he's going to be teaching you how to sell, how to learn to sell, if you are a seller, what to do, how to pivot, things like that. Um, and yes, Kathy, this can be done with an Explore Series machine. It can actually be done with a Joy, without a Cricut. You actually there just have to have design ways. space. Yeah. There's right. two, and if you don't have design space, you could still probably figure this one out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For real. So let's go ahead and head into Design Space. Are okay. we ready for that? Okay. I think we're ready for that, yeah. yeah. So we'll right. go ahead and go over to Design Space. In here in Design Space, you can see the letters that I've chosen. I did A for the first one that I did. I think today, since Lauren is here, we're gonna do the L for Lauren. I love it. I love it. But you just L. type in whatever your first initial is. If you want to make it for your first initial, or if you're making it for like a family gift, you can use their last name initial, and that'll be great. So there's two ways you can make this. Either way, I recommend using the Addy Kate sketch font, which you can find on Makers Gonna Learn, and it is linked below. So you're just going to go into Addy Kate Sketch and you 
are going to type in whatever letter you want. Today we're using L. This is my old example. Okay, so if you see this here, you're going to size it. Actually, shoot, I should have told you the size that I made mine. I made ours approximately four inches tall, and I think it's not like super oversized. It's probably it's like a very average ornament Rot. size. If you want oversized, you can do it more oversized. Um, I think oversized would be super cute. I like as I like stock, that yeah. for a more like a ornament, but uh -huh. I think as a stocking, stocking tag, tag, I would go bigger. I might go would six be inch, five and a half, six inches for a stocking tag. Yes. I think that would be great. Okay, so back here, I'm gonna make my L about four inches tall. It's almost that already. And with this selected, if you go up here, it's set to basic cut. Now here are the two options. You are either going to use your Cricut and put a pen in it, and you're going to have it draw. You can see the outline here, but usually when you um, put a pen in it, it's going to look filled in. That's yeah. what the sketch fonts do. They end up looking filled in. Mm -hmm. If you make it 12 inches or really big, you will see like an outline, like a normal font. Right. But at sizes that we normally use, you're not going to be able to tell it's actually an outline. Um, okay, so that is one option. That's not the option I chose, but if you don't have a printer handy, that's the option I would go with. Yes. Now, if you are right by your printer, you're just going to turn it into a print and cut, and you can see here, you don't even see the outline. So that's going to be what it looks like when you go ahead and draw it with your Cricut, too. Okay. Guys, that's all we're doing in Design Space. <laughs> that's it. Wow. So you could either go ahead and make this. You're going to, you know, continue, send that to your printer. Oh, you've got it on the venture right now. Okay, anyways, I'm not even going to go ahead and do it. Right. But, but you would print it on your printer. Printer like anything else or put your Cricut in, your pen in your Cricut. Yes. Okay. I'm checking comments for questions. Nobody's had any questions okay. so far. Perfect. I am starting to wonder if this is going to be a really short live stream, but I feel like we can, you know, have a good time. We'll way. make it. So yeah. if we have anybody that is here that is not a Makers Gonna Learn member and you uh -huh. want this font to recreate this file, we're actually doing our, we're going back and doing our dollar deal again. So if you, with the dollar deal, if I can find it, oh, there it is. Um, with the dollar deal, what you get is a seven-day trial to our website, and you do get unlimited access, and you get 20 downloads, bringing it to 20 cents a download. Um, I thought it was five cents. Oh, it is. 20 downloads for five cents. Uh, yeah, um, five cents a download. Five cents a download. downloads for one dollar, yes. and this can be one of them. This font can be one of them, and you can download this font. Yeah. So if you want to try us out for a dollar, click that link. All right. Period. Lauren. Yes. Can you check the description of the video so that we can tell them exactly what this product is called? Um, yes. In a, okay. just a second. This is. It's Yarn B. Yarn B. Yes. yes. It's in the description of the video. It's not linked because we could not find a link for this. But guys, if you live anywhere near a Hobby Lobby, you need to go to your Hobby Lobby to get this. It's going to be around the yarn section, uh -huh. but like for us at least, it was an aisle above the yarn section w where the embroidery stuff was. And they had a macrame cord and they had this, and it sits on the shelf like this. Actually, keep it on the overhead. I'm gonna go grab the one with the label. Yes, it is Yarn B Braided Basics XXL. So I'm gonna try to Google this and find a link for you guys. Um, but it is the Yarn Bee uh, braided, and it has to be braided. It's braided basics. Yes, I Googled and Googled and Googled, and if you find it, I promise that was not on the internet when I was doing the searching like last week. So, Yarn Bee braided basics XXL. They do have different sizes. I definitely recommend the XXL for this project, and I think that you can make lots of other cool projects with this too. If I'm being like fully transparent, when we first came up with this project, we were going to use regular yarn and like this tool that makes I-cord. And so, mm -hmm. 
Canadians, they have it on Amazon Canada, and I've seen it at Walmart as well. Are you uh, kidding me? We tried everywhere and couldn't find it. Yarnby is like my favorite, first of all. Yarnby is a Hobby Lobby brand, I thought. Is it? So maybe it's like maybe a different brand they have at Walmart or something. I don't know. Or they just have special packaging for your yarn bee at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. Either way, super cool product. If you know how to crochet, if you have an I-cord tool, you could make your own. But this saved us so much time, energy, stress, everything like that. So. Oh wait, I found, you some, found some. Not yarn bee. Okay. It's called this one, which I don't know if it's hollow is the problem, but it looks like uh, it would be because uh -huh. it looks like it's braided on Amazon. It's called it's the Cincy, Cincy Premium Five Millimeter Polyester Rope. See, macrame I don't know. Cord. Uh, I don't think macrame cord is usually hollow, but it looks like it would be. It looks like that. But it's you polyester, it. so it's shiny. This is the only one we've tried this project with. So if you want to do it, um, I would recommend going to Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is my printout that I have for my print cut. You don't need to go and cut it. You're just going to use it right out of the printer. So I have my braided cord here. And I'm going to wrap it around the letter very loosely. I, if you can see, I'm starting a little bit ahead. I'm, I want to have a little bit extra here. We're going to cut it off at the end, but I'm just getting a general idea of how much cord I need because I don't want to waste that much. Okay. So, just so everyone knows, I'm still yes. looking for this All right. online while Courtney does this. Okay, so then I'm cutting that. Just like so. Wow, I hope we got some new scissors on Amazon Prime Day because mm -hmm. those did not want to cut. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I probably am using about 14 inches for this. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing with the wire. The wire, same thing. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, definitely easier to find than the cord. And it's pretty thin. I think I have this correct wire gauge listed, but I'm not 100% sure. You do have underneath there, we have 18 gauge wire. Okay, 18 gauge wire. Yeah. Sorry, maybe I should have looked at that before we went live. It's okay. So now I'm going ahead and I'm twisting this wire around my letter. Again, kind of loosely, but not as loose as the um, cord. It does not have to be perfect at this point. Do not worry, okay? So that's approximately how much wire I need. Honestly, I probably didn't need to do that. I could have just cut it the same length as my cord which was what I had planned to do. It's actually a little bit shorter, which is actually perfect. Okay, so now we've got this. We've got our wire and we have our cord. One is a little bit smaller than the other, the wire being smaller. I'm straightening out my wire as straight as I can get it. And I'm going to play around with this edge to get this to go through the middle. This is the hardest part of the whole project, and I promise you it's really not that hard. You kind of just wiggle and push it through. It reminds me of like flipping a tube in sewing. You can kind of spin it, make sure it doesn't pop out the sides, and it's just going right around. The whole idea of using your Cricut to oh. draw your letter is amazing. Look, I just found something on Amazon. Solid color, hollow knitted crochet, crochet oh, yarns. Guys, I'm so sorry we didn't have this done ahead of time. I swear I spent like an hour on this. Okay, before. no, I, it's, this is not Yarn Bee. Okay. This is a different brand. Yeah. But I just searched cotton knitted I cord and okay. found it. How much is it? Uh, $13.99. Okay. If you have a Hobby Lobby, go to Hobby Lobby. It's only yeah. $5 and sometimes 40% off or so. 
So, do they have this yarn at Michael's in the U.S. braided they chain do. TM yarn by Loops and Thread? I'll look at Michael's real okay. quick. I don't know soon. All right. So, I'm going and I'm pu pushing this through. Still working on it, but making progress. Now would be a great time if anybody has any questions. Yes. Um, Kristen says, the whole idea of using your Cricut to draw your letters is amazing. Kristen, this, I, I use this trick so often, especially mm -hmm. with hand embroidery. Yeah. If you just print out a font or just print out your letters like with hand embroidery or like if you wanted to hand stencil, things like that, I use Cricut Design Space so often just yeah. to print stuff. And I, I think we use it just because we're so familiar with it. Yes. You could do it in Word, you could do it in Canva. Canva's a little bit harder to get your system fonts into. You have to have the pro membership, but you could do this in Microsoft Word if you're not like Design Space. Um, what, it, what would be the word? I wanna say oh, savvy. sufficient, savvy. Yeah, savvy. What, are, what savvy. word is more like sufficient? Like sounds more like sufficient, but means you know all about it. I don't know. I'm blanking. Okay. I'm just, Anyways. Just design space savvy. Design space savvy if you're not. Just use word. All right. How many people do we have here with us? Hold on, I don't know. Okay, this happens sometimes. We have 83. 83, okay. Yeah. Um, this happens sometimes. It pokes out the side. Not a problem. Just kind of back it up. Pull it from this end. Oh, it's a little stucky. And get it back in there and keep going. Go Don't push freak it. Out. You're a little bit out of there. Sorry, you go. Yeah. You're a little bit out of. All right. We're getting towards the end. Once I have it pretty much at the end here. I'm going, I, you can see it pop out. I'm gonna pull it back out some, okay? All right, people. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close out this end. We're going to use a dab of hot glue. If you have a low temp hot glue gun, great use of that. Wow, this was very burnt. I'm waiting till my glue gets clear <laughs> or it would definitely be seen on there. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue here. I'm gonna wait a second before I pinch it with my fingers. If you have those finger protectors, this is a great time to use them. So now, it's- Dollar Tree has some great ones. Yeah, we probably have some somewhere. We have two sets oh. in our Dollar Tree mm -hmm. room. Okay, I wanna move this up so they can see it. You can see the hot glue you're, you're here. Not, hold on, you're not in focus. There okay. we go, right there. You can see a daub of hot glue. You can also maybe see this frayed edge. I'm gonna add more hot glue. You can see it now, which isn't really a problem because we are gonna cut it off at the end and we might need to add a little bit more glue after we cut, but this is how I did that one and it like the edges look perfect. If you are like really into sewing already, you can definitely take some thread and stitch these ends together, but I wanted to do this a way that anyone would feel comfortable doing it. So my question is, can you burn the edges? Oh, no, it's cotton. Yeah. And so it's you not need to burn. close the hole together. That's yeah. right. Well, so. I mean, sometimes if it's like nylon, yeah, you yeah. can burn it and like squeeze yeah, it yourself, but cotton you can't. Thread. Yeah, okay. So now I'm like taking my scissors and cutting a round edge at this curve cutting some extra glue and some extra thread off. And now everything is like in there, perfect. Okay, you're not gonna do this end yet. We are ready to start on our L. I'm trying to see if I care where I start. I think I'm gonna start here because if you were writing, I think you would start here. So, it is so easy to bend. You're literally just following the template here. And the wire itself was easy to bend before I had it in here, but you could kind of see some imperfections, like mm -hmm. where it wasn't 
really smooth mm -hmm. in the line, Rock. this cord covers all of those imperfections. So if you've ever done like wire lettering before, I've done it. It is very tedious and I think very hard to get to look good. Rock. Even if you're using like, um, oh gosh, not plop. I guess pliers, yeah, not wire cutters, pliers. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see in, indents on the wire from where you use the pliers, and you'll see all kinds of little waves and stuff like that. This is not like that. I was kind of worried it was gonna be like that. It hides everything. It's awesome. Did you see how fast I just did that? Oh, you're already done. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So wow. we did have somebody ask us mm -hmm. if paracord would work Paracord is like more of a shinier Shiny, material. Yeah. You might be able to make something similar, but it's gonna have like a rustic kind of camping, hiking vibe and Rock. not this very light and airy and So I if don't know, it if paracord is vibe, hollow, it might be able to work, but I right. think paracord is normally a little bigger than this. Yeah. Which I guess if you get thicker wire and it is hollow it would work. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, Carol said those would sell at a craft show for ten dollars easily. Yeah, absolutely. Like I would probably do custom orders for their initials. Like have some examples and take custom orders mm -hmm. instead of having like to do the whole alphabet and everything. You know. Really, what you could do is just have a printout of the whole alphabet, and as fast as you make those, like pre-make your yeah. sizes mm -hmm. and just make them there. That's a good idea. If you are, if you're yeah. somebody who does. Uh, craft shows, that would be my workaround mm -hmm. instead of making a bunch of one letter. Yeah. I would just have a printout of every single letter in the alphabet mm -hmm. and then have a bunch of pre-made, um, have put the wire through the cord and have a bunch of those mm -hmm. pre-made and then just yeah, make them there. That would be awesome. All right, so now I'm seeing the end and I have actually a little bit extra, more extra than I thought. So I'm going to cut the cord. So I'm, hold on, let, let me show you this. I'm pinching the whole thing at the end of my letter. So this is where I'm gonna end up ending, but I can feel and I have wire until here. So I'm cutting the cord until the wire. Okay. Then I'm gonna back this up and expose the wire. You can scrunch it up here and it's gonna get like tight. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it back down on my template. Just keep your template like handy. I'm gonna take the wire cutters and snip the wire at the end of the letter on the template. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to like stretch this out again. And then I'm seeing where it's at the end, but I'm giving it just like a little bit extra and then I'm gonna cut that with my scissors, okay? Then I'm gonna back it up. That is like perfection. I'm adding some hot glue and letting it cool a little bit again before I work with it with my fingers. This time I'm trying to trap all of the loose ends in the hot glue. Cause I didn't do that the first time and I wish I had. All right, so cool it off a second. So what are you using yarn? Yes, it's a braided yarn. I am getting, I think I found one on Amazon. It specifically says it's a hollow cotton knitted yarn. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that added to our description just okay. in case you all can't find this at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. But we are recommending the Yarn Bee Braided Basics XXL, also listed in the description, just not linked from Hobby Lobby because it's cheaper and that's exactly the product that we're using. Also, one thing that I want to talk about, because April had a, made a good comment earlier. Mm -hmm. She said um, about Hobby Lobby sales, they do it every other week. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's been something that they, they've done that for a while. But, and Courtney and I learned this mm -hmm. the other day, that yarn specifically. Oh yeah, it doesn't go on sale. Look, look, look at look the at label. It. So if your you price. all if you all see something at Hobby Lobby that has that sticker that says your price on it, did you know that it's excluded? It's from excluded their sales. from all of their sales, which is really I think disappointing 
because they, and they're kind of misleading because they'll say like all yarn bee stuff on sale, 40% off, but then some are marked with this special tag and you don't like, I mean, now if you're watching, you'll know, but I didn't know until checkout and I was like, dang, mm -hmm. that really stinks. All right, there's some extra glue on here. I'm gonna be able to cut off. Just had a pop-up. I thought we turned those off. Off of what? Our, um, an ad. Oh. Our ads. On the lives? Yeah. That's like up to us? That's pretty cool. Yeah, we were supposed, I thought Tanner said he turned them off yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely wanna make sure that's happening. We're or so not sorry, happening. guys. We, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm putting a dab of hot glue where these two intersect. You just need a little bit. Oh my gosh, you know why my hot glue wasn't hot? It wasn't on the stand. Oh. It's just been sitting there. I mean, it still worked, but. I've got the, the ads delayed right now, guys. So if you all get a, if you all get an ad in the next few minutes, let me know because I've delayed them and I'm gonna keep delaying them. So please. Oh, you can do that. I can, it says I can delay them. This has been something yeah. that must have been new. Maybe YouTube updated things because yeah. we, we, have it. we did not used to have this issue and we're now having issues of he, Tanner thought he fixed it yesterday and it must not be something that, we're sorry guys, we're trying. We don't want, we don't want ads on our live streams. We right. just want to make that clear. Yeah, we want you to have the best experience possible. All right, when my hot glue gun heats back up, I'm gonna add a little glue at this cross section. That's all you're gonna wanna do is um, add glue at the cross section. So for this A, I was able to do it here and here. For the L, I'm doing it here and here. On the S, you'd only have one to do right here. Is that an S or a G? This is an S, okay. a capital S, yeah. Okay. Um, not every letter, I will say, which I don't know off the top of my head which ones won't. Like maybe an H is not gonna have, depending on this font, it might have a little loop. But anyways, like here, it has a good place to hang. Here has a good place to hang. Here has a good place to hang. You might have to find a unique place on some of the letters to hang it from. And if you can't just loop it like this, you could glue it to the back. Right. So it's not really a problem. One of the things right. that normally, and the only reason I know this is because used to have an H last name for mm -hmm. a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, normally H's just hang a little crooked. like Right, but they look cute that way. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, so I got my glue added there. And guys, what That's are we thinking? It. What are your thoughts on this so far? We're gonna add, I think this is the perfect finishing touch. Oh, like, I do too. We could not find this in the office and I refused to hang it from anything else. I knew that this would complete the look and it totally does. So this is soft suede lace. So good. This is kind of expensive, but I wonder how many. We got 50 feet of this. So it really like per ornament it, is not bad. And it must have, you all, we must have had, we must we've have had this, we've for, had this for years. Yeah, I don't remember buying this. Um, we've had a good long while and it just really completes the project. I kind of think it would have been cute to do in this color too, but I'm it saving it that for a different I know. project coming up. So definitely stock up and we will have more projects coming with this awesome product because we really like it. So I hope you guys are able to find it easily. Also, somebody asked about doing a full word. Um, yeah, you can actually uh -huh. do a full word. I you think that would be awesome. It would be very, yeah. very cute. And then maybe, let's go ahead and type Noel. Let's, can okay, we head let's over go. to Design Space? What font, Daisy? This is the font Addie Kate Sketch font. Yes. Okay, I'm excited about this. I'm going to type in Noel in all lowercase because I think that would just look the best. And I'm going to make it bigger. Looking cute. Advance, ungroup to letters. I'm gonna go ahead and kern this. What do you think? 
This L, I think, could be moved up. Um, I kind of want to slice some of this N off. What do you think? Try with a capital N. Capital N. Yeah, that N looks kind of weird. I know, it does. I feel like a capital N might um, like balance out yeah, the, L. the L a little more. I think you're right. And I bring the L down. Okay, I'm working on it. Okay, this looks super cute. And then I think if I was doing this as an ornament, I'm gonna like loop the um, the cord N to the L. to the end, so it's like up and down like that. I think mm -hmm. it would be so cute. Yes. Wow. You gonna do it, or are you just thinking I don't about? Know. It? I'm thinking about it. Can you tell I'm thinking about it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to like waste their time because we already like it's gonna be the same exact process. I don't what know do that think? that's wasting their time. Let's also, yeah. speaking of sketch fonts, just mm -hmm. in case, just humor me. You want to try a different font? Yeah. Okay. And that way they can see all of the sketch fonts that we have too. Are you going to recommend, let's I'm see. going to our sketch fonts to recommend one. We can search and see what we have on this computer. It definitely, we could try Affirmation or Cynthia. Worthy? Do you have Worthy? Yeah. Let's see what Worthy looks like. Oh, that's really cute, actually. I like that one. Let me try that with a capital, a capital N. N. Nope, I don't like it as good. I don't like it as good, but I like tell that they like were at the same height, you know? Go back to the lowercase N uh -huh. and let's... Now... Delete out Addy Kate for or move it so I can so we I can see it. What do you mean? Like oh, the Noel one? that's Addy Kate, just move it down. And now make this one bigger. Well it needs to be kerned, that's yeah. for sure. So let's go ahead and kern it real quick. And technically you really don't have to use a sketch font. It just helps you visualize it more when you use a sketch font. I just don't know. Do but this one would okay. allow you to do it in the middle, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What Or what if, what if you've got it ungrouped to letters, take uh -huh. the L, just make it smaller. Just make the L itself a little bit smaller. It's You're not going to be able to tell that big of a difference, I don't think. Yeah, and you could do kind of like this. Now move the L up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I would do a smaller L and do it from the O. But I want to see what it would look like if you turned it. No, I don't like that. It doesn't look like a word. Yeah, that's true. How sturdy is the end result? Okay, I actually wanted to talk about this, Tara. I think, let's just talk about this. Ornaments are delicate, which is why I was okay with the end product. As a keychain, absolutely not. No, it's this not a keychain. This is not a keychain. This is an ornament. This or a is a decoration, tag. a stocking tag. I will show you how easily you can undo it. Right. But that's like destroying your ornament. I don't think, like it takes purposeful action. Uh -huh. If you are careful with your ornament, as people should be careful with their ornaments, it's going to take the shape. Right. For shipping, just pack it flat. Uh-huh. You don't need a box. Um, just like a flat, sturdy envelope, I think, would be um, perfect. I yes. think that they are super shippable. I definitely think you should list these in your Etsy shop. Um, see how they do. We cannot wait for those results. If you guys have an Etsy shop, if you're thinking about having an Etsy shop, check out the pinned comment. Tanner is teaching a workshop next week. There are multiple times you can choose from, and he is going to teach you how to market and grow your Cricut business even in a shrinking economy, which is super big right now. Oh, so. yeah. All right. I really like this font. I want to try another font, though. Okay. I want to try the Cynthia sketch. Sin is on here. It's I was going to say I little. looked at, I just was looking. 
I don't know. Maybe I didn't do Cynthia. Maybe I didn't get to Cynthia. It's just pretty yet. similar. I don't think you would actually tell that much of a difference in this. Oh, I'm not. Sorry. Hold on. In... Let's go to share screen. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I wasn't at share screen. <laughs> yeah, between two pieces of cardboard. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. So this is interesting. I like this um, worthy sketch font better. They look very diff like they look different on the screen. But I think once you use the wire and stuff, they're really not going to look all that different. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. I think we should just stick to our letters and let them use their imagination and creativity to make different versions. If you make a word, we want to see it posted in the Facebook group. Yep. Oh, what did I just do? What did you do? Nothing. Okay. We're good. <laughs> all right. Well... We are here for any last minute questions, comments, prayer requests. What, yep. else, what else does he say? Song requests, dedications. Yep. I don't know. All the things. We're this here has been a very them. short life. It's been short. So much good stuff. Yeah. Like this, like I said, this project is one of my favorites. And it's like the shortest and quickest and easiest. I know. How is that possible? We're usually really big fans of like complicated projects. I know we are yeah. very very big fans of complicated yeah. projects. So it is like a rare occasion that we love a simple project like uh -huh. this. Carol Which, says this would be a great and affordable Christmas project for a teacher to have our students make. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a fine motor skill practice. Yep. Oh darn it. What? I forgot to get to pause ads again. Another ad. Oh we are so sorry. Delay. I'm so so sorry. Okay, I told yeah. him to let me know. Diana's running to Hobby Lobby right away. I love to hear that. I hope that you are able to find it. Ask your, like ask the employees if you can't find it, they should be able to help you. But we are having a hollow cotton if you can't find yeah. it. I'm having um, something that I found on Amazon that I think will work. Um, so I think if you can't find it, we're getting something tagged. Someone asked us, how much cord is on the roll? Oh, wow. 71 yards. Wow. Yeah, I think, think that'll be all, enough. I think that'll be enough for a few years. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in your life could have their own ornament because you're only using like about a foot. Yeah. So 71 times three, that's uh -huh. a good. Did we even use a full foot? Yeah, we used about 14 inches, okay. I'd say. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and Sin asked, where did her comment go? If you do a word, would you have to do each letter separately? Absolutely not. Yeah. You're just going to print this off. Let's go to the share yep, screen. Got it. You could either attach it and have your pen write the word together or print it off as is. Just select it and go to print and cut. It's going to flatten. I guess it would flatten. Yeah. It. Okay. There you go. You're going to print this off and you're just going to trace the word with the your cord first. Cord. Yeah. You set the cord first and then cut off oh, the same well, amount yeah, of wire. Yeah. But like once you have your cord threaded, you're going to just yep, like trace it. So at ten dollars a piece, that would be a huge profit. It yes, really would Carol. be. Yeah, it really. Your would biggest be. expense going into it is going to be this cord if you don't have it. I still really recommend it over something else. Show them that cord up close. Okay. That. Can they see this? Take a screenshot of that. Was that? This at, is from Hobby Lobby. So mm -hmm. it's fourteen dollars for that regular price. And you could probably find that. This on. has fifty feet. We didn't even use one foot. Yeah. So. We this have um, we use what 18 gauge. 18 gauge. It, it is linked down below. Yep. And this, if you're going to Hobby Lobby already, this is from Hobby Lobby, and it's in, well, for us, it was in the Christmas section in like the middle of an aisle. Not in the middle of an aisle. They have like, what would you call that, Lauren? They have like the aisles that go this way, and then they have like little stations outside the aisles at ours. Oh, like end know? caps. Like end caps, like an additional end cap right yeah. off of it for holiday crafting stuff. It was with like the jingle bells and the holiday pipe cleaners and the holiday um, like pom poms and like the kits of crafts. So that's where we got this, but any 12 gauge wire should. 18. 18 gauge yep. wire will work great. So I cannot wait to see if you guys make these. I'm totally, I'm actually undecided if I'm using these as stocking tags or ornaments on our tree. 
Mm. I'm leaning towards stocking tags. I'm leaning towards stocking tags this year. Yeah, because we don't have stocking tags picked out. No, oh, but no. I what? don't think you can use them for stocking tags with oh, your green colored. Uh, you can do it with that green. Yep. If that's what you want to do, but I don't think the cream on the cream. Yeah. And that, that ain't it, sis. It's true. So, if all you right. all, any more questions, go ahead and drop them. If you are. <laughs> oh, bless you, Lauren. So sorry, guys. So sorry. Okay. Um, if you're not a Makers Gonna Learn member and you want to recreate this craft, and but you want this sketch font or maybe another sketch font to recreate yeah. it you can try our membership for a dollar just click mm -hmm. that link you will get seven days um unlimited access to our website and our facebook group you will get 20 mm -hmm. downloads bringing it to five cents a download amazing and yeah where after, else can you get a cut file or a font for five cents uh, nowhere that i know of yeah nowhere <laughs> that i know of and, and they're like this, high quality and and you pick them it's not like you're just giving them. you 20 yep. eh, iffy ones yup uh baby yeah. updates georgia is doing phenomenal yes, i talked to alicia yesterday she said she's feeling a lot better now yep. she's just uh sleep deprived which is typical for having a newborn. Typical so. for two under two. Two under two. She truly we has both have two that, under but two. But very different versions, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine toddler and newborn. Well, life. it actually is very scary to me. But mm, glad that she's you doing and it. not me. <laughs> so, Alicia, if you're watching this, we are praying for your two under two toddler newborn situation. And your sleep situation. And your sleep. Take yep. a nap. Okay. If All anyone, right. if nobody has any more questions. Oh, I can't hear. If you folded the wire over itself to create a tiny loop, it might be easier to thread the wire through. Well, maybe Joy, definitely go ahead and try that. Yeah. All right. We well. will tell Alicia that you all miss her. We yeah. miss her too. We don't mm -hmm. want to work as hard as we do, but we, <laughs> we, would, we would love to share yeah. the load we of the work. We can definitely feel her how absence. hard she works. <laughs> yep. We can feel her absence. Not that we ever doubted, but yeah. nope. All right. Okie dokie. See you later. We are going to be live again next week. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. there, if you want to see Tanner before then, sign yes. up for his webinar. Actually, yeah. The webinar it's is happening. It's not on happening. YouTube. You have to sign up for yeah. those webinars. So, yeah. all right. You do have to sign up.